In the following video, we're going to discuss how to create an assignment for students to submit materials online directly into your Canvas uh, workspace. So the first thing I need to do is I need to select the course that I want to create the assignment. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and select the assignment in Intro to Canvas for Teachers. And um, I prefer to use the Assignments uh, category, but I could have easily done this from my calendar as well. So I'm going to go to Assignments. Um, I've set up a, a grade book, and in that grade book, I have a section called Homework, which is 10% of the grade. And you'll see this a little bit later on about how uh, assignments uh, can uh, be directly linked into your grade book. I'm going to go ahead and click the plus button to add assignments to this category. And I prefer to immediately just jump into the More Options section uh, for a Canvas activity. And um, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is in a uh, reflection. Uh, so reflect um, what? and I'm going to say that it shouldn't take more than five minutes for students to complete. So simply a metacognitive activity. Um, I could provide uh, additional uh, instructions uh, such as some guiding questions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep this link to the homework group and um, I'm going to display the grade as complete and incomplete simply, since this is simply a reflection. Um, and then finally, in this particular case is what we're going to focus on today, I'm going to go ahead and choose that the submission type is an online submission. Um, I can choose the other submissions uh, such as no submission, meaning I'm not planning to collect this uh, electronically. Um, or I can say that I'm tracking this, that I'm collecting this uh, as a printed paper or an external tool, which we'll get into at a later time. But today we're going to take a look at uh, using Canvas as a means for organizing, um, collecting all your course materials. So I'm going to go ahead and select online. And there's four different ways in which I can collect materials online. Um, I'm going to go ahead in this particular example, say that this is uh, I'm going to allow students to submit it any way they prefer. So text entry uh, simply means that uh, students can submit their assignment directly using their rich content editor, basically type in directly into the course. A website URL, so for example, if a student has shared a document that they published through a third-party service such as PictoChart or um, Apple's uh, online iCloud keynote service or uh, any other third-party website URL, or even Google Docs, uh, this would be a way to do so. Uh, media recordings, this is when students can submit an audio or video recording directly to submit the assignment. So instead of typing uh, a written response, students can verbalize, uh, verbal, verbally respond to it or uh, create a screen recording of the response. And then finally, file uploads. Students can convert uh, uh, an upload, uh, an assignment. Uh, and we ask students to connect their Blake's Google, Google Docs account to their uh, Blake Canvas account so uh, they can submit their Google Docs account directly into this. Um, and then once they do, the Google Doc or Google Sheet or Google Slide gets converted into their Microsoft counterpart, which is Microsoft Word, Excel, or PowerPoint um, immediately. And the reason why I'm pausing just for a moment is once a student submits an assignment through uh, Canvas via Google Docs, it's basically taking a snapshot in time. So if they make any changes, even in the Google Doc, they'll need to resubmit the assignment. And then finally, um, assignments uh, that uh, you grade can be graded in, screen, in uh, speed grader using the Crocodile annotation tool, but this will only work for standard Microsoft products, uh, Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, or Adobe's PDF, or um, Google Docs that can convert into the Microsoft PowerPoint. And then uh, finally, I would go ahead and uh, I have some other choices whether to make this a group assignment or peer review, but I would give it a, a due date. And in this case, um, because I want this only go to me and not to everyone else in the course, I'm just going to choose uh, uh, David Boxer. But I could have had this gone to a section or everyone in the course. And then finally, when it's ready to publish, I'll go ahead and click Save and Publish. This is giving me a warning that because I'm only assigning this to one person, this assignment's not going to all sections of my course, and that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and click Continue. In the next video, uh, you'll see what this looks like uh, from the student perspective because we'll have a student submit uh, the power of assignments.